Hey, what's going on, folks? It's me, Justin, from CamModelHD.com. Today, I'm going to be talking about price schemes for OnlyFans. And here's the thing. Um, the truth is, you won't really know how to price until you start experimenting and, and figuring that out for yourself. So many factors come into play uh, when it comes to pricing from uh, what kind of content you're creating, what size audience you have, how many followers or subscribers you have, what you're willing to do, what you're not willing to do, how many hours you want to work in a day, whether you want to go you know, two or three hours and chill out, or you want to clock in 12 to 16 hour just hustle mode days uh, all comes into play and there's really no one size fits all um, model but what we can talk about is a few i guess common or basic um models that you can you could can kind of serve as a baseline for for how to get started um, with how you should price your only fans or loyal fans or any other uh, platform out there so check this out so uh, number one is like the free to follow but pay to play model where exactly what it sounds like there is no subscription cost there's no monthly subscription every anybody can follow you the content that you're posting is pretty mild it's almost you know like having a you know a twitter or instagram but they're just on a different platform it's it, it's nothing crazy um you're putting a little bit you know maybe a little bit spicier content on there but nothing that um would you know somebody would pay for we'll say um the problem with this model is, I guess, not really problem, but the con of this is you can get a ton of followers really easily. Um, I mean, typically pretty easy, um, but there's going to be just more people that are, you know, they, they follow for the sake of following just because it's free and, and that's about it. So you might have, you know, let's say a thousand followers, but like 12 of them will actually become paying customers. Everybody else is just kind of there. Um, the thing with this model is if they if they're free to follow you, you want to make sure that everything else uh, is pay to play. So any message they send, it costs money to send messages. Um, if you're, you know, every clip, every everything is pay to play, uh, whether it's through a tip or it is just a flat, like, hey, you, every message you send me costs you 99 cents or $2 or three or five, if you, you know, depending on how big your account is. Um, so that's one way to do it. You can entice them with the free, but typically somebody that's coming on looking for free content um, or looking to follow for free is looking for free content. So it's, it, it's not bad to start with this, but uh, you know, there, there's pros and cons to all these. Next we have the subscription um, and they typically get some, some sort of interaction, but there is more, you know, paid options. And this is kind of like the strip club analogy talking about in a previous video where it's like the, Subscription fee is like a cover charge and then, you know, interacting with a, a, a dancer is, you know, they'll come talk to you and whatever. But what they're trying to do is, of course, get you to get a lap dance or go to, you know, VIP or whatever. So paid entry, free to chat a little bit. Um, you still sell clips. You still, you know, you know, either ask for or request tips. They're still, um, you know, you might have a maybe not a posted menu but you have like your prices in mind for you know ratings or anything else like that um this is maybe a lot easier to manage than the free model where you might have a ton of people trying to interact with you with the subscription especially as a new creator you you know going getting those first you know 20 to 50 subscribers you're, you're going to form a more, I don't know if intimate is the right word, but you know, you're, you're going to know who these people are. You're going to recognize their names. It's not just, you know, John and then a string of numbers. You're going to be like, Oh no, I know, I know who this is. Um, I remember, you know, you might have, uh, like your CRM, your customer relationship management, uh, management, or that'd be an Excel document. So you can keep notes of what they're talking about and who they are. Um, it's a little bit easier to manage on that level. And then of course, you know, like I said, you have your kind of your personal private menu. I would not post that um, just cause you never know how much somebody was willing to pay for something. But of course they pay for custom content, any kind of additional things. Next you have the all paid everything. Basically everything is, is you gotta pay for everything. And that's, you know, typically reserved for accounts with massive followings, um, massive amounts of subscribers really, but you know, they have a hundred thousand plus real Instagram followers. They, you know, they're Twitch streamers, they're YouTubers, they're 
actual fucking porn stars, whatever the case is. Um, but it's paid to subscribe, pay per message, pay for clips, pay for everything. Um, typically the stuff that you're posting on your, you know, your wall or whatever is tame. Um, but it, you know, the, the, again, this is reserved for people with massive followings. And if you, if you're one of these people that, you know, could fall into this category, you're not watching this video. So <laughs> we don't really need to talk about this much. Um, and then, you know, none of these models are set in stone. Any combination can work. You got to really experiment with what works for your account. You might have something where it's, you know, subscribe, pay per message, but they get every week, they get a, a free clip, you know, that's, you know, some kind of video or something like that, or a free picture set or something. So you really just got to figure out what works for yours. And it's going to take, you know, weeks to months of, of figuring that out. Nobody can really tell you, Hey, this is what you should be doing. Uh, all kinds of factors come into play. Uh, but when in doubt, ever feeling overwhelmed with, you know, how much work you're putting in, just increase prices, right? Just increase your prices. It's the easiest thing you do can do to alleviate some of that workload and, or make more money. Um, cause a hundred subs spending a hundred dollars per month each is a lot harder to manage than 50 subs spending $150 each. Uh, you might be making less money, but you're spending less time doing the work so you can spend more time promoting or, or whatever, or relaxing or taking your dog for a walk. Um, so there's kind of a trade off there. Uh, of course. Hey, thanks for watching. There's really not much more to talk about here. So, um, uh, Camel, obviously it's a commission free agency. We don't think that just because you go from 10 to 20,000 per month that we should take a bigger cut. We're doing the same amount of work. Um, and we also offer micro services like, um, you know, here, here's custom social media content f captions or whatnot for your stuff every month. Um, we have a few products for sale. Um, you know, typically like $5 for like caption packs, depending on what niche you're in, um, or what fetish you're kind of working in. And those can all be found on sub and if you use the coupon until the end, you get 20% off everything, anything, whatever you want. Peace.